What's going on? It's getting exciting around here. So today we are going to be boxing with a 12 inch box. And I'm fortunate enough to have my oldest son here, Elijah. He's going to be running the box. I'm going to be wiping it down. We're going to do some side walls for you here pretty quickly and uh, show you the process of what we do. In this house, we have run the entire bed coat, block coat, some people call it. Um, and from there, what we'll do now is go back through and run the box. So the only thing I have to tidy up now is the box. I have to rerun my three ways one more time and run the beads. This house is about 500 sheets and we're gonna get most of it skimmed out here before one o'clock or so. Anyway, with no further ado, um, Eli's gonna take over the box. I'm gonna wipe it down. Now, before we go on, hold on. We run this box, this is the tape tech, okay? We've already adjusted our two screws. You wanna be able to hear the blade. You want to be able to hear that a little bit so that it's it's actually cutting the edges nice. You can run this thing and not wipe it. I prefer to wipe it only because it leaves goobers up in the corners and I like I, I don't like to sand. So we're gonna run this on a number two, all right, for the skim coat, because we're not gonna be applying much mud. The flats are super flat. They don't need much. Always check your flat after you run your box to make sure it's not leaving too much mud. If it is, just Put it up to number three, but always check your with a blade after you run the box. That way you'll never have to worry about joints that are humped out. Anyway, I'll let you guys take it. So I like to put the box right in the corner here. I always hold the box upside down like this. You don't really want to hold it this way because you'll get the mud coming out. Get that. So you want to kind of hold it and then hold the brake, let it pull down. You want to get it right into the corner. And then you just push and try to keep your arm and your body locked up in the same position so you can keep it pretty straight. You can go around the boxes. I like to just do this and then you can come back and touch up that little area above the outlets. And when you turn in the box, all you gotta do is hold your, your brake and switch your hands. And it stays in the same position, so you can just put the box right back into the corner when you go to the, the other side of the wall. Yeah, so you sometimes look at edges and stuff, and this is what he's gonna be coming back to touch up is that little bit in the, in the corner there. And he'll just, He'll pull, out, he'll pull out about a foot and then he'll touch up that little area and get it nice and clean. Bring it back over and and wipe. Now what I'll also do, you see me going into the corner here. I want to make sure those corners are filled with flat and smooth. So, because I ran these with a mud shot, the angles are completely done. And as long as you leave a little bit of stuff, it's easy to sand. Now also check, if you look on this, it's completely flat. That's what you're after. This mud does not shrink. The Proform lightweight finishing mud we're using, it shrinks very, very little. So if you've got it looking like this, it is so easy to sand. And I'm wiping this again, just so that I can uh, get that run out. The reason I, you know, it's nice to have them here today because when we're skimming, the mud sets up a little faster and I'm able to wipe it when it's a little wetter. On the bed coat, you've got, you got a little bit more mud to work with. You have a little bit more time. So if you notice, I'm getting all, of, I'm getting really into these corners because I want those corners nice. I hate sanding. I like an easy, easy sanding day, you know, and I'll make a sanding video you guys haven't seen yet. Run this bunch on the I like to tie in the butt joints to the flats as we're going. So when he gets out of this little bathroom over here, I'll show you guys. We've got two butts here. I can reach up to the nine foot. You see there's one here, he ran it. Now look, just like the bed coat, he kept the wheel right in the middle of the, of the uh, butt joint and it's perfectly flat. It's hard to do this by hand. You know, you can, but a lot of times you'll get the little hump right in the middle where the tape is. Um, 
It all depends on the finisher, you know, how much time you want to spend on this stuff. Pretty much we'll come through this house and box it. It'll take about three or four hours and for the two of us. And then we'll just come back and center all of our butt joints. And this house will be absolutely perfect. Go run in butt joints over there, in that master bedroom. Now see, he stopped there at the box. I'm just doing a little bit of hand finishing here, filling it up. I'll hit down here, I wanna make sure you want to keep these as nice as possible so that when we do sand, you don't have too much to, to really get off it. You can just basically go. A lot of times, you know, sometimes you're running into a bad board and needs a little extra help. We don't have a lot of them in this house, but stuff like this here, we're wiping that off, clean up the edge here where the, uh, or the goobers, I should say, where the, where the box came up into the corner. And we're just trying to get this, you know, that one. Okay, so you see it's a little hollow, you see this? So what I'll do as the wipe down guy is I'll actually give it a little extra coat. We want things flat. We don't want to. Uh... Now let's check it one more time. You see that? That's the line you're after right there. If you can see that line, that's what you're after. Now see, I got this crap in the mud. You run into all this stuff when you're finishing. You see the air bubbles here? Can you see those? It's flat, but what it's trying to do is fill. That's why I see the air bubbles. So there it is, and then we'll do it again, and it's perfectly flat. Now, you ready these butt joints? These are butt boards from Mountain Dew. I agree. Mm. Check this out. This was from the bed coat. Now I want you to look down this. Okay, I'm gonna have him run this on a one. It needs a little bit more mud, watch out. But these butt boards are amazing. They really do save a lot of time and a lot of mud. And they make your finish look really, really nice. Now, all I'm simply gonna do is just take it, lay it like that, and pull it right into that flat. You know, you can run around, a lot of people, sometimes people will do that, and they'll run around and do all the flats in the house, and they'll just come back and hit the butts. But look at this, it's perfectly flat. You can't see any air underneath it, and that, that's what you're after. I mean, how much sanding do you think that's going to require to sand that sand? Not much. If the box is doing its job, then it's not leaving edges, and all you're doing is basically slicking out spots air bubbles, such like that, with the knife. You're trying to leave the mud that it leaves because it's perfect, now see? This is absolutely perfectly flat. That's what you're at. Anyway, that's uh, the 12 inch box with our tape tech. I do run North Stars too, and it's pretty much the same process. We will uh, see you guys later and have a good day.